Good morning, afternoon or evening, you absolutely lovely people. You've clicked on this video for one reason. You want to know how to clean, protect and maintain your alloy wheels. Well, I'll tell you one thing, you've come to the right place. We've got Nicole's A35 down here, dressed in some Riviera wheels, and we're going to show you, start to finish, back to front, how to look after your lovely new wheels. First, we need to get this car off the ground. Whilst it might look quite good, it's very annoying for cleaning the wheels. As if by magic. Before you put any chemical on, we want to get rid of as much dirt as we can because this is free. Contrary to what you might see on social media, Stiana Gloss included, you do not want to put chemical onto a dirty wheel because you're going to be wasting a lot, a lot of products. Granted, if you want the mad raspberry ripple effect for Instagram, I'll show you how to do that on the other side. First and foremost, we're going to rip as much dirt off as we can just by using a pressure washer. Now, these wheels are already three or four shades lighter, but there is still lots and lots of dirt built up, especially in the corners and crevices. So now we can hit it with Huel, color changing wheel cleaner. Get in there, remember to change the angle of approach because the alloy has got lots of corners and crevices, lots of nooks and crannies as well. Get into the barrels as well. And then we're gonna give that 20 or 30 seconds to do its thing. Let the magic happen and see the purple rain. Oh, we'll put something on the tires as well because you mustn't forget your tires, you dirty, dirty pig. Okay, I'm up. There we go. Now that said 30, 45 seconds to do its thing, we're going to approach it with a contact wash. I'm going to be putting some matter shampoo into a bucket, agitate that with a pressure washer, and then we can get in there with a brush, start hitting these contaminated areas. Now the faces are done, we're going to get into them barrels using the Graveling Barrel Brush. This is completely silicon and microfiber, so there is no nasty hard surfaces in there that could potentially scratch the wheels. A few mists of fuel on there as well, just to give it an extra fighting chance. Now this car has got some big old stoppers on it, so we're going to have to go forward couple of feet just so we can get into the barrel where the caliper is. The faces and the barrels are now clean so we're going to spend a couple of minutes on cleaning the tyres. This may feel a little bit like oh my god I'm being a bit sad here I'm cleaning my tyres but it is going to lay a beautiful foundation later on when we come to put the dressing on it's going to allow that dressing to soak in so it lasts longer and gives a much more consistent satin sheen. Pre-wash I do not believe in dedicated tyre cleaners some onto the sidewall, some onto the brush, and scrub. <clears throat> cool. We're gonna rinse that, hit it again, until the bubbles run white. Second hit of force on the tires. Let's see if we get any more brown in this time. Nowhere near as much, more of a cream. So I reckon this will be the last hit we do. Confidently, they don't need any more cleaning. So now we're gonna do the inner arches. You might be thinking, well, that's got nothing to do with the wheels, but it is right next to the wheels. And if you've got a lovely clean wheel and a dirty inner arch liner, people are gonna be judging you, me included. So more citrus pre-wash in there. Grab the barrel brush again, and then just scrub. Beautiful. Rinse all of that and work our way around the whole car. <music> 
10 minutes, we've got a clean wheel, clean tire, and clean inner arch. You tell me what's more satisfying than that that you can fit in in 10 minutes. Now, for anyone sat at home or watching this on their phone that thinks, oh, I really want to see how to get the Raspberry Ripple slash strawberry milkshake effect, we will show you how to get there. As I mentioned earlier on, it is not the most cost-effective way to clean the wheels, but I do agree, it does look pretty mega. So, we are not going to pre-clean the wheel with the pressure washer. We're going to dump a load of colour-changing wheel cleaner on there. Bit of citrus pre-wash on the tyres, because that glows brown and orange and all sorts of colours. And then, we're going to put a little bit of snow foam over the top. Now, the pros and cons of doing the Raspberry Ripple. Pros, it looks great. The cons, unfortunately, it's a little bit of a waste of product because while it looks good, you're not getting rid of the heavy contamination on the wheel. So there's a chance if you go straight into cleaning this, you're going to, you're going to scratch the barrels. So we're going to put it on. It's going to allow for a longer dwell time, but ultimately we're still going to have to rip it off, apply wheel cleaner again, then do the actual contact clean. For a general maintenance wash, that's probably more than enough, but these wheels are unprotected. We're doing a proper deep clean so that we can protect them later on. So now we need to clean them again. Now we've got clean wheels, we need to get into the conversation of protection. I'm going to show you two versions, the Lazy Boy version and the longer lasting version. Glatt protective rinse aid, let me show you the magic on this front wheel. So at the moment, we've got a clean but flat and unprotected wheel. Glatt protective rinse aid, a little bit of a game changer. You don't need to do anything other than spray it on the wheel, rinse it off, mad beads. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, all we need to do is rinse that off. It's as easy as that. So we have gone from completely unprotected, couple of sprays of glat, rinse, now we've got a protected wheel. That is gonna help from brake dust bonding on, it's gonna improve gloss, it's gonna improve slickness. But, as I said earlier on, this is the Lazy Boy version. We're gonna clean the rest of the car, get it inside, and then we're gonna show you Parlor, also known as the Big Dick Swinger. Now the wheels are clean, we've got it inside the bay. I know this is a big ask, but for the maximum protection, I would love to see you taking the wheels off because it's gonna allow for deeper cleaning, you're gonna be able to get it bone dry, and also means you're gonna be able to protect the barrels. Now I know most people are just gonna protect the faces and that's completely understandable. I'll show you how to do that on the back of the car. But for this one, we're gonna go full force and we're gonna parlor the inner and the outer edge of the wheels. So to protect this wheel, we're gonna put a good coating of parlor spray sealant on. Then we're gonna take the short pile side of the towel and just work it in to all those nooks and crannies. The reason we use the short pile is because it isn't as absorbent. So there's more chance of you pushing the product round into all the corners and crevices. And then that's why after this, we come back with the longer pile, which is more absorbent. It's gonna slurp up all the excess product that we don't need. There is method to the madness. Right, so that's the first layer worked in. Then we're gonna do exactly the same thing again with the long pile and slurp up all the excess. Leaving you with a beautiful, glossy, extremely smooth and protected surface. Therefore, mud and brake dust has a much less chance of latching on making your wheels easier to clean and maintain down the road. Repeating the exact same process on the inside. You are going to have a little bit of overspray on the back of the wheel, which is not a problem at all. So if it dries, don't worry, because the product is going to reactivate it so it can be spread in again. 
There are going to be people watching this that are saying to me, Kev, I am never going to take my wheels off to clean them, and I respect it. You're a busy man. So I would still like to see you protecting the faces, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Exactly the same process as the fronts. We're going to spray parlor on, work it in with one cloth, short pile, buff it off with another. Unfortunately, this means you are not going to be able to do the barrels, but that's the sacrifice you make, and we can cheat that with GLAT Protective Rinse Aid. Voila, easy as that. And if you want to go super geeky, a couple of mists, a quick detailer on the inner arch liner, that's also going to give it a satin finish. Unfortunately, it's only going to hold on for a couple of hours, but ideal at a show. And don't forget, you're never fully dressed without a tyre shine. And this is why we clean our tyres. That should hold on for about a month, depending on conditions. Gonna give you a beautiful wet satin finish. Not glossy, it's not the 90s. Beautiful. What is the point in all of this? Well, ultimately, it is to keep the wheels cleaner for longer and make them easier to clean next time you come to wash the car. Couple of watch outs though. Obviously, wheels have different finishes and this isn't a one size fits all. So if you've got matte wheels that have got quite a rough touch, you can't really protect them. There are some dedicated ceramic coatings and fair play to them. You might have to do a little bit of research on the internet for that. Satin wheels that are smooth to the finish, you can protect those using parlor spray sealant. You can also use ceramic coating as well. Obviously, these ones are glossy and they are the easiest to clean and they are the easiest to maintain. As I say, if you've got matte, really rough textured wheels, Watch out, you can use all of the cleaners, that's not a problem at all, but the protection, the protective rinse aid, or the spray sealant, big no-no, because that is gonna try and fill in those gaps or the texture, and then you're gonna be left with a weird satin mess. Don't protect matte wheels, unless you've got a dedicated ceramic coating for matte. As we saw earlier on, we've got the Lazy Boy version, which is GLAT, and we've got the Long Lasting Protection, which is Parlor. These two work beautifully in conjunction with one another. Parlor is gonna hold on for about three months on a wheel. Glat is gonna hold on for a month. So what I would love to see you doing, and I know it's a big ask, twice a year, protect your wheels with Parlor, then every time you wash the car thereafter, you're gonna go around with Glat. You are never gonna run out of protection. It's gonna make the car so much easier to clean down the road. Have that in your mind, get your base down, and then top it up regularly. Wheels are gonna be a breeze. Yes, you can go one step further, ceramic coating, but I do advise, let a professional do it. Pure detailing, little plug for the cousin. He can do it for you. There's plenty of detailers up and down the country. Unfortunately, with ceramic coatings, they're not foolproof. Mistakes can happen. You get high spots, which means the wheel might have to be refurbed if you get it wrong. So I do advise a professional doing it for you. If you think, say, Cav, I wanna do my wheels myself, get them off once every six months, give them a good coat of parlor, and every two or three weeks when you're out there cleaning the car, go round it with glass. Huge thank you to Riviera Wheels and their sponsor, Nicole, for coming down. I'll see you on the next one. Love you, bye.